Hello guys, welcome back to Math is Simple. And I hope you you enjoy our previous videos. And now we we were talking about uh, glucose. It's a little bit hard to spell. Require color by uh, spec. Photometer. Okay, so this is like kind of test that test the the concentration of the glucose. So the objective is uh, objective will be the to measure measure uh, glucose concentration. Glucose concentration by spectrophotometer. Okay by spectrophotometer okay now uh, how do how do we need to do the test okay first first we need to prepare um, reagent 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 is some kind of a substance that 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 has no effect in the in the reaction it just kind of like a medium medium of reac reaction okay and then after that we have to standard 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 is a substance substance that we will, we know we have to know the concentration the type the concentration and its concentration concentration we have to know this because uh, we want to make it we want to compare it the samples the unknown samples to the standard so this is the unknown sample or sample. This is not by R, this is not by S, and this is not by O. Okay. So what we what should we do first? First we do this is what the samples that we want to know, we want to measure. Okay. How much? How much the concentration? of glucose here that's the question that we want to answer okay so what should we do first uh, we can do uh, create first we can make the reagent reagent you can get it from usually from manufacturers manufacturer like they have already prepared you some reagent and one standard one reagent and one standard so so you can buy it from somewhere and the standard uh, you will get also from the manufacturer and just you have to know that uh, the standard that the concentration that the standard we use is also is uh, 100 milligram per dl and also the types also of course glucose okay okay now um, we have to we will make uh, some Three tests to measure the to do the test. We will we will make it three three tests, three sub tests. The first we will make a reagent, and then after that the standard, and then after that is the sample. Okay, it's very simple actually. This is the very simple test. Okay, so first, uh, this is the, the 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 amount of concentration concentration that we make by us. Okay, we will also make reagent. Uh, this is standard, and this is our unknown sample. So we will give some kind of like uh, uh, take. Take like uh, one one thousand. We will make it microliter, okay? Microliter, one thousand microliters from reagents to our cuffets to make it as a blank, okay? Reagent blank. And also after that we prepare. So this is like one thousand. This is one thousand reagent blank. And after that we prepare standard. Standard, we prepare it from 1000 reagent and 
10 microliter standard so this is our uh, standard so will be if it's will be this is 1000 gradient and add a little bit and add a little bit of like this is some kind of standard okay and then after that we also we will combine our sample with also 1000 1000 reagent and also 1000 uh 10 uh, sample okay so we prepare one two three three cubits for each type of of uh, substance this is blank this is what we call blank agent blank and this is called a standard and this is an unknown sample that we want to test about okay and now we do the test procedure uh, like uh, we will put it in the in the uh, spectro manometer spectro not spectro spectro photometer we put it in the spectro photometer uh, with with using uh, UV UV spectrometers and we set it uh, 100 nano nanometers. It's actually uh, based on the previous uh, test, uh, so you have already know that uh, this is the suitable uh, UV UV uh, UV wavelength for uh, measure the glucose. Okay, so you you can find it on. On uh, every type of the test, usually using the different um, wavelength. Okay, now after we test it, uh, H. So we do we put it. This is one to the spectrophotometer, and this is also to the spectrophotometer, and this is also to the spectrophotometer. And the result is will be. The result is usually will be the spectrophotometer from the reagent okay will uh, result in the zero zero absorbance okay this is the co this is the coefficient that will appear in your spectrophotometer and it's called absorbance okay, it means uh, there is no there is no light that has been absorbed by reagent this is a good reagent so reagents will be zero absorbance because it will have no effect Okay, well, it's like a blank, like empty, but but so it will have no effect in the in the after reaction. Okay, so the second result will be from the standard. From the standard, we don't know, so we call it like uh, RS. Okay, RS means the absorbent standard. Okay, and this is kind of like number that we will get from the spectrophotometer. Okay. And then the third will be from the from the <coughs> unknown sample. So it's also we call it AU. Okay, absorbent for unknown samples. Okay, then after that it means we will get a uh, three result, okay, from the spectrophotometers. First is zero, the second is uh ES and the third is AU. A ES is is can be like for example maybe uh, 0 0.5 and U AU for example maybe 0 0.3 we will give the examples later okay now after we get this result what should we do is we will use the Lambert Rao okay Lambert Rao Lambert Rao state that the absorbance is equal uh, ACL okay ACL is the E is a coefficient, coefficient absorbance. It is uh, for every substance is different, and the C is concentration, concentration. That's what we want to know. And the L is the the length of the cuvet, length of the cuvet. Okay, okay. This is what we will use, <clears throat> the length of the cuvet. Okay, so because we have uh, two uh, samples. Absorbance samples and absorbance uh, unknown, absorbance standard. Sorry, absorbance standard and absorbent unknown. So we have, uh, we will have two formulas. Okay, the first is uh, AU equals ACL, and the second is 
A uh, AES equal ACL and the second will be AU equals ACL okay okay <clears throat> and now the coefficient because we will use the same glucose so the coefficient will be the same so there is no difference so it we note it as A and after that the concentration the concentration will be different because that's what we want to know okay so this is called you have to make it different so from the standard we make it uh, GS concentration standard and from the uh, unknown sample we make it uh, CU okay because it's unknown and for the L because we use the same cuvette it else means like the length of the cuvette so if we have the cuvette like this this is the length of the cuvette because we use the same cuvette for every for every solution so it will be the same this is L this is also L so L and E is basically the same so we can later delete it so what is the CU this is what we want to know okay we want to measure the CU concentration of the unknown samples and we al we already know CS it's about 100 milligram per dl okay okay now how do you measure this so just make some uh, mathematical equation okay so it will be CU equals uh, EL per AU okay and it will be the same okay CU uh, wait a minute uh, 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 uh. And from this, uh, we can get uh, uh, how do you say it? We can get EL, ELs, okay, equal CS per ice, okay. By combining these two, by combining these two, we will get, um, we will get uh, from here. And then CU because ELs equals CS per ES, so this will be e, uh, equal CS to be CS per ES per AU. So it can be uh, okay CS per ES per AU. Okay, that's that's great. So uh, after we make it, this will be AU per uh, is times CS okay because we already know CS a hundred so we can measure the CU equals AU per AS times hundred in GDL so after we know the concentration the absorbance uh, from the spectral photometer we get this and this we put it in the this this and then I measure it uh, we can measure our samples, our concentration samples by this formula, okay? Got it? It's very simple actually, if you think about it. Okay, now, uh, let's give some examples. Let's give some examples. Examples, okay? Examples. For example, we get, we get from sample, we get ES uh, equals like uh, 4 point um mm, let's say four point i don't know actually let me think about the good um mm, 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 four point one okay four point one absorbance and a o we get like four point uh seventy eight absorbent okay so we can uh we can this is from uh, display on the spectrophotometer, okay? So after that, we can um, we can calculate uh, the glue Cu. Cu is uh, will be our oh, hundred will be A A Au for Aes time hundred, okay? Uh, equals like will be zero point and then. Uh, no, no, I mean this will be 7, 75, oh, 75, and then this will be 10, okay, and I'm sending in GDL, so it will be, the result will be like, hmm, 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 hmm. no, I think it's too much, it's too much, wait a minute, wait a minute, I think it will be, Zero, 
like uh, 0, 0, 5, 5, okay so whatever just this is just some kind of examples okay <laughs> okay so after that one Oh no no, zero zero seven five. Okay, zero zero seven five. Zero zero seven five. Okay, so it will be equal like the two thousand mgd. So this is the uh, glucose uh, glucose glucose that contains in our unknown sample. So this is the CU CU concentration of unknown sample. So if we, we for example we measure we measure uh, the glucose in the in the blood serum in the blood which is usually the normal level will be uh, 10 to 105 mg per dl so you can say that in our sum uh, the glucose the glucose that we found if it's from the human blood it will be normal because it's in this range okay that's all I think you can understand the the equation behind uh, the, this formula. This so that all of it will be clear. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.